hören weiterhin das Plusprogramm von Radio Nordsee International, ausgestrahlt vom Motorship MS Mevo 2. Und wir benötigen Ihre Mithilfe. Schicken Sie uns bitte Empfangsberichte und schreiben Sie auf diese Berichte, wann Sie uns gehört haben, wo Sie uns gehört haben und wie alt Sie sind. Und das alles bitte an folgende Adresse an Radio Nordsee International, 8057 Zürich, Postfach 113 in der Schweiz. So eben war es 6 Uhr. Now 6 o'clock. On 106 News, this is Radio North Sea International with the sound of Europe. Das war Hitchbauer und Sounds Nummer 2, Nummer 2, Nummer sagen wir so, nämlich ich mache ja für Sie die deutsche Ansage und mein englischer Kollege im Studio 1 in Englisch, Fate Shake war dies, Hitchbauer und Sounds Nummer 2. Thank you very much, Horst. It's now 11 minutes past the hour, 6 o'clock, and you're tuned to Radio North Sea International, the sound of Europe. And uh, Horst Schreiner in the other studio, Roger Twiggaday here. Uh, broadcasting five miles off the coast of Holland from the motor vessel Campo 2, this is the sound of Europe on 186 meters, Radio Nord Sea International. If you just joined us here, you're listening to Radio Nord Sea International. A very good evening to you from me, Andy Archer, and also from all the other disc jockeys out here. That's Horst Reiner, Roger Day. Alan West and also Carl Mitchell. We're broadcasting to you, the entire of Europe. I'd like to wish you a very good evening on behalf of all the staff of Radio Nazi International. Welcome back to our program. We apologize for the short break in transmission, but there was, this was necessary in preparation of our short journey to England. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to repeat our previous message. The Nevo 2 is now leaving the coast of Holland. We at Radio Nazi International would like to take this opportunity to extend to our friends in Holland, especially all of the people in Scaveningen and the Grand Hotel for their friendly cooperation during the first two months of broadcasting. As we cross the North Sea, we leave you with our most heartfelt thanks. For the people of Great Britain, we can only say we are on our way. I'd like to wish you a very good evening if you've just tuned in. Welcome to the Sounds of Europe, R&I, Radio North Sea International. And you know the Mebo 2, R&I is on its way to England right now across the North Sea. Very, very exciting day here today. Actually, it's very nice to be here, um, well, you know, in our old position, looking at lots of things. I look at my uh, cabin window and all that sort of thing. But there's only one drawback. Yes, you know I haven't said anything about it so far. It's that dreadful tender ride back again. <laughs> Carl Mitchell welcoming you to the new sound of Radio Caroline International. Good evening, this is Andy Archer. The unbelievable has happened. This is the return of Radio Caroline International. Broadcasting on 244 meters in the medium wave band, this is the sound of the nation. Back on the airwaves again. Radio Caroline International, the sound of the nation. And now the right time from Bolivar is exactly 9 o'clock. Bolivar, who invented Accutron, the electronic tuning four clock. Cries of Wilson out and Caroline in were heard today at today's London pre radio radio rally at London Speaker's Corner, which attracted in the region of 15 to 20,000 people, proving the demand for Radio Caroline. The rally was carried out in a peaceful and orderly manner. What will the results of Thursday's general election mean to you? There are five and a half million people between the ages of 18 and 25. Vote for the party that believes in your individual freedom. The party that believes in free broadcasting. The party that believes in free enterprise. The party that can sustain your rights as a human being. The Conservative Party believes in these things. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Wilson? If you think we rave your sound. We are the boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Wilson? If you think we rain goes down. The Conservative government have won the 1970 general election. On the 23rd of June, the station closed, and the Mebo 2, defeated, headed back to Holland, where broadcasting recommenced at 7 a.m. the following day. Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mark Wesley here, welcoming you to a day's transmission from Radio North Sea International on 244 metres in the medium wave band. The jamming by the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications had now stopped. When the jamming continued after the election, the Conservatives were in power and Heath was appointed Prime Minister. 
um, we thought, oh well, this is this is it. Uh, switch it off now. We can carry on as though nothing had ever happened. Unfortunately, it didn't it didn't work out like that. And I think everyone became very despondent then. And I think we were happy when uh, Mebo decided to uh, move the ship back to Holland. And if you just joined us, perhaps you'd like to be put in the picture that a tug has come alongside, along with a person by the name of Case Munders, who apparently is a well-known figure in Holland. Um, well, the situation is we're no, none of us are sure what's happening at the moment, but this certainly isn't an authorised tug, and uh, the Mebo is in no need of a tug because we have perfectly good engines. I think they're going to spray water onto the antenna, which apart from shipping on our transmitter would also give whoever did it a very lethal shock. So by all means, spray the area with water if it makes you feel any better. And the banging you can hear in the background is that we're taking all security precautions and uh, locking up the hatches to save anybody from coming down into the into the studio itself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience today that you've had, but unfortunately we've had problems out here, and uh, I'm glad the disc jockeys have done their part in keeping you informed. At the moment, the ships have cooled off, but we are sure, as they have told us, that they are coming back. They have brought a child and a woman on one of the ships to kind of deter us from uh, doing anything to them. Mr. Mundus has no right to take this ship there has never been a contract signed with him. There is no agreements between him and Radio North Sea International. It went so far as to tell them when they planned to put water on the transmitter. The disc jockeys, just by thinking of the people on the ship and not thinking of themselves, told them not to put water on the transmitter because it would kill everybody on the tugboat. This we did not have to do, but we did it because we are a music station. We are not around to injure or endanger any lives whatsoever. So please stay tuned. If you wish to help, we want it. But meanwhile, stay with us. Radio Nazi is voluntarily closing down this morning at 11 o'clock. Due to the pressure on the Dutch Parliament to close down the offshore stations, our directors in Zurich feel that it would be better for the people of Holland for us to suspend broadcasting, so that the Dutch government will not attempt to close down Radio Veronica, so dearly loved by the people of Holland for the past 10 years. Radio Nazi International thanks you all for your support in the past month during our times of drama and struggle. Thank you for being faithful to us. We close this morning at 11 o'clock. And as the clock ticks away, the time gets near. Uh, both Helen and myself joined the station at exactly the same time, so together we'll say goodbye. From Alan West, it's goodbye. And from me, Andy Archer, it's goodbye too. And from R and I, it's goodbye. And God bless. It's now eleven o'clock. Dit is Radio Noordzee met een proefuitzending op 220 meter middengolf. U zult in de toekomst nog meer van Radio Noordzee horen. Nu kunt u luisteren naar een non-stop grammofoonplatenprogramma van Radio Noordzee. Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the sound of Radio Noordzee International. Europe's number one music station. The time now is exactly 30 seconds out of 3 o'clock. So, Alan, if you'd like to move to the back of the studio, yep. I think there's one thing left to do, and that is for all of us, the six English announcers aboard Radio North International, to uh, have this station well and truly opened. So, I now pronounce this station well and truly opened. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any night between six and eight on R and I, we all love Alan West, apparently. You know that we love Alan West. Radio North Sea International, the pop radio ship, is on fire off the Dutch coast. This is Radio North Sea International, an SOS call. This is Mayday, 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 Radio North International from the Mebo 2. It's exactly 52 degrees, 11 minutes latitude, 52 degrees, 11 minutes latitude, 4 degrees, 16 minutes longitude. 52 degrees, 11 minutes latitude, 4 degrees, 16 minutes longitude. Four miles from the coast of Scavening in Holland. One mile from the radio ship Nordenay, Veronica. We are having to abandon the ship very soon. The bridge and the engine room are on fire. The fire is taking control of the ship. The fire was caused by a bomb thrown on board from a small motor ship. A small motor launch with an outboard motor. A small motor launch with an outboard motor. We don't know who it belongs to. We don't know where it came from or where it's going to. 
but it certainly bombed us while it was here. We abandoned ship about five times, clambered over the side the first time and got into the rubber dinghy and I got my feet wet and then we clambered back up on the ship again when they said it was okay and then we got down into the rubber dinghy again and then eventually we got back up onto the ship, went across the other side and by that time the trip had arrived and we, we, we got into that and we sailed away to watch the fire raging from afar. It was really a sad sight. The whole stern end of the ship was ablaze. The flames must have been leaping about 20 feet into the sky. It was a nauseating sight. Yes, good morning and uh, welcome to the show. I must apologise for not being with you uh, last night because, you see, I was sitting in a little rubber boat um, not feeling very happy at the time. I was sitting in another little, well, slightly yes. bigger rubber boat up to my feet, up to my neck in water. I, I, I missed you, Alan. I really did. I, I had a wet body as well. <laughs> so did I. Yes, it is? Yes. Somebody said you had about six inches of water in your uh, rubber boat. Well, we had a rubber bucket in there. <laughs> 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 trying to get it out. There's rubber all over the place. Just I suppose it was uh, the, the same colour and everything to, to match the colour scheme of the inside of the boat, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. World service. Broadcasting in the shortwave bands of 6,205 kilohertz in the 49 metre band and also at 9,935 kilohertz in the 31 metre band. RNI's World Service. To the world of music. We European time and we stop transmissions as we believe that our anchor chain has broken. There is no need for alarm. The anchor chain on board, the Mebo 2, has broken and this has been spotted in time. We are now seizing transmissions until we are safely back into international waters. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the start of test broadcasts from Radio Nautilus International 2. We're transmitting on 192 meters in the medium wave band, 1562 kilohertz. Radio Veronica will be resuming their broadcast at 1 o'clock Central European time on 538 meters medium wave. That's 557 kilohertz. The management and staff of the Radio Nauti network throughout Europe would like to take this opportunity to wish all of our friends over at Radio Veronica best of luck in the years to come. It's Nauti goes DX time and from EAJ, wherever you are listening today, it's either a good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night. From the north, east, west and south, this is a Radio Nauti DX news bulletin for Sunday, May 13th, 1973. All times mentioned are in Greenwich Mean Time. International Waters, Radio Nodze International's popular Sunday World Service, will be discontinued at the end of May. According to Mebo Limited Zurich, the DX program, Norsi Goes DX, will continue to be broadcast every Sunday at the usual time. The future of the program, Our World in Action, is to date still uncertain. Also, no official reasons on AM, FM, and shortwave, this is Music for Young Europe on Radio North Sea International. Radio North sea International Station. And we hope that you're enjoying the uh, final hour here on Radio North Sea International. I hope that uh, sometime in the near future, perhaps myself or Brian, will come across you again. And uh, it'll be nice to talk about old times. So we're going to leave you with a piece of music, really, which uh, to us is, well, very, very dear to us, and it's dear to Radio North Sea International, to most of you who've been listening. So, really, we're going to just say a Vida saying and bye-bye from every one of us on the international service. Uh, this is Brian McKenzie, and like everyone else, I'd like to thank you for being the most wonderful listeners in the world, and maybe some other time we get together again and uh, be friends. Dach allemaal and tot ziens. in the UK and Holland. R-N-I. We're back with programming in Dutch and in English. This is Radio North Sea International Worldwide Radio. <laughs> International.